women have been doing to rebuild the World Trade Center. And I think that winning this BAFTA award is an acknowledgement of your work. So I'd like to dedicate this work award to all the men and women who have been rebuilding the World Trade Center. I'm going to I'm going to put this down because it's actually it's quite heavy and I want to get I want to get my speech. I promise not to be long because I know some of you are, are gagging for a drink. I've been, as I've been working on this project for more than 12 years, it would take me about five or six hours to thank everybody who's helped make it possible. But um, I'd particularly like to thank Susan Werby, whom I met five or six years ago and who has believed in and championed this project. Uh, and it's her, her belief that has made it possible for it to come on the air. It's, it's quite unusual for a mainstream broadcaster to show a slightly eclectic, independent, rather non-conformist film and I'm very proud that it will have its US premiere on the History Channel on September the 11th. Uh, also, I know Susan is retiring this year and this is one of her final projects for the channel so I'm sure we'd all like to wish Susan well on her, on her way ahead. Like, like the work on the World Trade Center site, making a film is a huge collaboration of many different people all working together as a team with one goal. And on this film, there are so many people who've helped to make it that you know, it would take a long time to thank them. But one, one key part of winning a BAFTA award for cinematography is to have an amazing editor who can make the film look like something. I'd like to thank my friend and buddy Leo Cullen, who's edited.